Hi and welcome to another gaming video and in today's video it's a bit of a follow-up to a previous video where I was talking about how Nintendo should have made a switch hybrid and included a DS cartridge slot on the switch so you could play your DS 3DS games on the new hardware and they didn't but it doesn't mean you can't play DS games or 3DS games on the switch most consoles on the market can be hacked modded installed custom firmware whatever you want to call it and the switch is no exception i must point out that i have had no experience doing this on a switch I've done it on plenty of other consoles but not the switch as far as i can tell there are certain models of the switch that can be modded and some that can't and some that require certain methods to do so but to play ds games on a switch it is possible via emulation on a modded switch and with all kinds of emulation, it doesn't matter how powerful the machine is and how low powered the console you're trying to emulate is, there is always issues. And the Switch running DS games it is no exception. And there are two methods I know of that are recommended to run DS games, and I'm talking DS games on the Switch. Uh, one is Melon DS, and the other one is DS Immune. I think that's how it's pronounced. Melon DS is the most recommended, it's the most compatible and it runs with the least problems and playing DS games on the Switch runs fairly hassle free. There are always certain games for certain systems that are a pain to emulate but with the DS I think it's pretty trouble free. Now with regards to 3DS games that is a bit of a different matter. Obviously the 3DS is a more powerful machine. I wouldn't say it's uh, powerful but it's got higher specs than the DS and emulating on a switch well emulating 3DS games on a switch is not an easy task. Uh, as far as I can tell there is a build of RetroArch which includes a Citra base and Citra is the 3DS emulator that you use on other systems uh, and there is a version of RetroArch for the Switch with a Citra base. It's a very early, very unfinished version and it plays a few games quite well but it's, it's not a polished finish. Uh, don't expect to play your entire back catalogue of 3DS games on a Switch without any issues. And as I said, these are emulated and with emulation it's not playing the physical cartridge you are in a bit of a grey area there if you've got a catalogue of DS games that you physically own then you should be semi-legal to download those ROMs from some site and play them on whatever system you want you generally have to own the cartridge or the disc to get around that kind of legality and with emulation and especially with the emulation on the switch it would be a case of downloading the ROMs putting them on your switch or your SD card in your switch and playing them from there so you're not playing your physical games it's kind of a two-edged thing it's quicker to play your list of DS games if they're all sitting in one folder as ROMs on your SD card uh, but it does mean that your physical cartridges are just sitting on the shelf but if your physical cartridge is causing issues then it's a way of playing that game that you own and that is about the state of emulation on the switch the switch can emulate lots of other consoles but i'm not going to go into that i'm talking about ds and 3ds games here and like i say the ds is easy to emulate it's less powerful there seem to be more resources been put into the DS itself but the 3DS is still very much a work in progress and despite the fact that the Switch has been out well nine years now it can take a very very long time to perfect emulation on certain systems even for very old consoles that you're trying to emulate so with the lack of physical way of playing your DS games on your Switch i.e. Nintendo not making some kind of hybrid console emulation is the other way that you can take your DS collection with you on your switch and play it but it needs custom firmware it needs modern and it's an absolute minefield to get it to work and even if you do get it working performance may not be fantastic uh, DS performance should be pretty good but with the 3DS performance 
you're going to run into a lot of games that won't run, uh, a few games that will run, but whether they run properly or at full speed, that's another question. So it's not the greatest alternative to having a physical cartridge slot on your Switch to play your DS games, but at the minute it's about the only alternative. I will be talking about DS emulation on other systems in another video, so if you're interested in playing them on your PC or your Mac etc, then uh, check that out. I'll put a link up to that when it's live. But this video is about emulation on the Switch and emulating DS and 3DS games on the Switch. So that's the current state of play for them. As I said, I've had no direct experience, but that is the gist of the current state of DS and 3DS emulation on the Switch. Let me know what you think. Link, like, subscribe, enjoy.